Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about the Harris Corner Detector which came after the Moravec Corner Detector and was a big improvement on some of the limitations of it. And before we dive in I wanted to show this animation here uh, because sometimes when we say talk about a corner I, I wanted to make sure that we all know what we mean by a corner. Uh, this is a, what is considered a flat region where everything is constant, there's no change. An edge will be that border region between two colors or two intensities, values, right? And the corner would be where two of these edges meet, creating this, what is called interesting point, or sometimes called a feature point, or sometimes called a corner. We'll be talking about this area right here, this interesting point area. And uh, I'm using the Programming Computer Vision with Python, the, the book, uh, it's a very good book. And uh, he does a very good job explaining the mathematics behind some of these algorithms. And what he's doing here, as you can see, uh, let's do some a little bit of linear algebra. It's 1x times 1x, it gets that. 1x times 1y gets that. And that's all 1y times that is that and that times that is that that's all it is and he explains here that it's a it's a rank one where one of the eigenvalues is he is that and when the other eigenvalue is zero meaning if you remember from your linear algebra a rank one matrix would be this is equivalent to this right because one times one is one one times four is four one times five is five 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 5 is 10. So that's what they mean. So when he t has a, a, a rank 1 where one of the eigenvalues is equal to 0, what he does through a Gaussian filter and some convolution, he is able to average an area around the uh, matrix, is what sometimes refers to the Harris matrix, and where these things, this recipe here, takes place. And what does that mean? Let's go to this one here. When one of the eigenvalues is large and one of the eigenvalues is, is very small, you will have an edge. This is what's going on here. When one of the eigenvalues, in this, ex in this case, eigenvalue 1 is much greater or mean large, and this one is almost very small, you also have an edge. But when eigenvalue 1 and eigenvalue 2, both eigenvalues are large positive values, then you have a corner. Okay? And when you have, when they're very small, when they're almost equals to zero, then you have a constant, you have a, it's a flat region. Okay? And uh, th this right here is where this, some of these parameters come from, from the uh, OpenCV documentation. And if you have time, you can take a look. But this is where these uh, these things come from. That's right, out, it's the same thing, it's right out of here. Okay? But let's, uh, enough mathematics, let's talk, ab let's talk about the code. Um, I'm using uh, his code here that when you get an example of his book, you get this uh, this source code, and uh, it's, it's, it's nice. And w these are the functions that he has here, and the functions, the plotting, and then the commands. But I'm not doing it from the idle from a, a Python terminal. I I Instead, what I did was I put it all together so I could have it. So let me show it to you. Zero, nano. Oops, <laughs> Harris. And the, these commands are the same as you can see. I'm opening this. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, lady in red, big, and let me open another terminal, oops, okay, and EOG, lady, red, 
this picture right here and uh, the reason that I picked this picture is um, because you know there's a lot going on there's the bridge, there's the Verrazano bridge and her dress you can see um, all of these these buildings and all of these um, windows here and you're gonna see it in action okay let's close control X can see there's the hat the hat the dress the edges the corners the dress the building the corners you can see the the beams and the bridge as you can see and that's uh right out of here the straight python is not computer vision now we're gonna do a we're gonna run it in computer vision and this one I'm using This one I'm using this code from uh, from the glowing Python block. It's a very nice block, and this is all CV based on the C interface. It's not the new one. It's not CV2. This is the new one. It's not the new one. And uh, what I'm doing, I all I'm doing different. I mean, importing CV and the import request and. Uh, I'm importing the picture because I'm not using a picture because I didn't want to save more stuff into into the computer. That's the only reason. And uh, it's the loop. He's running a loop on the Y. He's running a loop on the X. He's saving it. Okay. And let's run it. There it goes. I picked this picture because it has the the nice defined corners, and you can see it does a, a pretty good job finding all the corners. Um, you can see some of the background of the logo of the picture in here, and um, but it does a pretty good job. I want you to see the difference with the other one. That's uh, that's uh, Open CV. Is the old one, it's uh, the C interface, but now we're gonna do the new one running before. Let me show you. And uh, this is, uh, I got this one from uh, the documentation right out of uh, OpenCV, it's this code right here. Uh, I will include the link in the spot of the description of this video but uh, you can change this threshold right here uh, according to, to what you want uh, and the image and um, it's, I, it's, uh, it's the same one that he has there the only thing that I'm doing I, I include a request because I'm getting the picture from the web so let's run it And there it goes, and uh, you can see that it's a lot, uh, a lot cleaner. Uh, uh, it's very robust. It misses the the logo. It doesn't get the logo at all. It, it does a very good job. It just concentrates on the corners, and you can see it's a very nice algorithm, nice and clean. Okay, but this is the end of the tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it and. And like always, uh, if you uh, enjoyed the tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.